Well, 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 everybody. Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to my second LP. A Sucker Punch production. Paris, France, 4.20 a.m. Not so average Joe here, by the way. And who is this shadowy figure running across the rooftops here? Hmm, blue shirt, blue cap, red backpack, giant cane. Looking all epic and sneaky and stealthy. Let's see. Ah, it's a raccoon. Jumping on the Le Policia Station. I don't know why that was Spanish. It was supposed to be French, but anywho, Sly Cooper and the Thievus Raccoonus. All right, second LP. Um, hey guys, <laughs> welcome. So, um, not gonna give much of an intro here. I'm just gonna jump right in. This is gonna be a 100% playthrough of Sly Cooper. Uh, this is the first game in the series, by the way. It's for PlayStation 2. So yeah, let's just dive right in. Alright, starting a new game here. And right, let's see our first cutscene. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. All right, indeed. All right, after this first cutscene, let's just get into the tutorial here. This is kind of your tutorial level of the game here. Uh, pressing X allows you to... Uh, have a faulty controller apparently yeah it's been doing that so yeah anywho uh, pressing square allows you to attack with your cane uh, X allows you to jump pressing X twice allows you to double jump allows you to get further such stuff like that uh, X and square allows you to do a jump attack and you can oh cane attack you can use it to defeat enemies and break breakable things such as air vents crates rats even yeah even rats uh... you can break antennas crates bottles books you name it and you can also hit coins to gather them faster um... coins uh... we'll get into what they do a little bit later but for now let's just get into blue auras must be vertigo or something can you see those crazy blue lights really i've read about this Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. All right, so blue auras, just like he said, uh, pressing and holding circle allows you to do a super sneaky, stealthy thing. Uh, this blue aura in particular allows you to shimmy. Uh, you can use this to get around narrow passageways, undetected, in the shadows, stuff like that. You use it for a bunch of different things. Anyway, uh, there's more thieving techniques that we will learn in the near future, but for now, that's pretty much all we have at the moment. Alright, so jumping on over here, we actually have a little glitch we can do right about here. Um, thank you, Bentley. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought of it. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, for those of you who don't know, I like to generally show the glitches of a game because, well, I just do, actually, I don't know. Uh, my thing is usually 100%ing a game and showing off glitches. That's my thing. Um, so anyway... Uh, jumping on top of the vent and going all the way over here, you land on this chimney. Uh, what you might want to do uh, for this glitch to work, I haven't actually tried this out yet, but I have seen it done. Uh, you can actually walk along the streets of Paris. Oh, in case I didn't tell you guys, uh, R1 and L1 allow you to bring out your binocu binocular. You can use the left analog stick to move it, and the right one to zoom in and out. But right here you just want to jump down and do that and ah, not die preferably 
Okay, guys, while you're up here, uh, here's what I found out. Um, you're supposed to go down here. Ah, not fall off, please. Jump over here to this section and double jump off and quickly do a square attack. It may take a couple tries. Yes, there we go. There we go, finally. Now we're at the bottom of Paris. You are not supposed to be here. You can go through the scenery. You can go inside the buildings. Heck, let's uh, try going to the Eiffel Tower. Why not, right? All right, going away. Speeding this up. All right, as you can see, we're all the way over here. We're under the water. Let's just see how far we can go. Um, you, this does, you, there's no way to undo this glitch, by the way. You will have to restart this level. So, yeah. Might as well get the best out of it. Alright, let's just take our Banaki cam out. There we are, we're, this is the Eiffel Tower, guys, yep. Alright, so now that I've showed this off, I think if you go far over there, you just end up falling into an endless pit. So, I will meet you guys back up there. And we're back. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, just wanted to show that little nifty glitch off. It's right in the beginning, too, so, you know. All right, here we're getting into lasers. Um, if you're not listening to Bentley, uh, basically what you want to do to get by these, just go to the platforms with the coins on them. Um, lasers, how they work. The yellow lasers, if you touch them, they will spawn into, or they will change into red lasers. What le red lasers do, if you touch them, they will burn you, and you will die. Um, in this game, you die in one hit, unless you have a horseshoe. Oh, excuse me. Silver horseshoe, if you have one, it takes, uh, you can take two hits. If you have a gold horseshoe, you can take three. So, discussing how that works. Um... Might as well talk about coins then. Coins. If you get 100 coins at any point in time, uh, you'd get a horseshoe. If you happen to have a gold horseshoe on your back and you get 100 coins, you get an extra life. Lives in this game. Uh, you can have is up to 9, I believe. I'm not completely sure about that. But um, if your lives reach 0, you have to start the entire level over. Uh, alarms. This is an alarm right here. Destroying it will deactivate the lasers both uh, lasers that were in here or in there and lasers that were up there. Alright, so there we go. That's basically the gist of the game right there. Um, I will explain other things if necessary, but for now we want to get into Carmelita Fox's office here. This is her office with the red door. Uh, it is locked so you can't get in there, but the police officers are really dumb and keep a window open for no apparent reason. Yeah, there must be the worst police headquarters ever, just to leave in, uh, just to leave a window open, inside of her office, no less. So, first thing we want to do is wreck her office. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's what you get for leaving your windows open, fool. You get this happening. All right, so safe. Uh, we'll get into more what safes do later, but for now, Bentley is going to give us the code to the first one. All right, nine, three, seven. All right, so now we open this bad boy up and we get what's inside. So I guess technically, technically we just committed robbery. <laughs> oh, I miss doing that for my Twilight Princess LP. Even though I only did it one episode, but yeah, whatever. Uh, what we just got there was the uh, case files or case files. Well, I guess they are case files, but um, they're case files on criminals. We'll get more into what that is later during a cutscene, but yeah. Destroy that whiskey bottle, yeah. No drinking allowed in the headquarters, and get the pages stuck on the ceiling by some magical force. Anyway, let's just go out this window, and up. Oh, looks like someone found us out. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. 
Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Alright, so getting into the Car Carmelita chase, uh, you just want to run like heck before she zaps you. She will destroy this building if you're not fast enough. Oh my goodness, going, going. Oh, you can't catch me, ho. Yeah, yeah. Jukin, Jukin. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. As you shoot, shoot the same car. Oh my goodness, okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, oh, okay, she's not playing. She's not playing. Girl with the gun is not playing. Let's go. Jukin. No. Oh, into the van. Go. All right, and we escaped. I think we just did, Carmelita. I think we just did. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Fiendish Five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Alright, so now we are in the headquarters, our order or order, um, our main place of operation here. Uh clicking on Bentley uh allows you to see uh movies that you've seen throughout the game. Obviously this movie right here is the one we just got done watching, but yeah. Alright, over here is the first area we need to go to get the first part of the Thievius Raccoonus. Um, over here you get a little preview of the next area after that. Uh, but Murray's blocking it, you can't do anything with it yet. But if you press X you get kind of a little funny piece of dialogue here. Oh. You want? One. You're so greedy. You are very greedy. Alright, so getting into this area... Um, I think we're going to end it off right here, guys. Um, sorry if this video wasn't very exciting, but it is the first video, so what do you expect? Um, I know this was kind of more of an informational video. I like being informational, but uh, next couple videos, we can be kind of chill. We can be show off my little humorous side. So thank you guys so much for watching this first part. If you liked it, comment, subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus.